Every state in North America has a legend of a Bigfoot-type creature. On the West Coast, it's Sasquatch. In Ohio, the Grassman. Florida, the Skunk Ape. In New Jersey, it's Big Red Eye. We're not about getting the highest ratings or most views. We made this series to share how expeditions truly are. Traveling across the eastern U.S., watch our journey as we search for the most elusive and intelligent animal in the world. There is no production crew, no directors. This is our real investigation. This is our search in the shadow of Big Red Eye. Alrighty, it's the uh, day one of our trip down there. It's uh, we're leaving North Jersey and headed into Ocala National Forest in Florida. Um, it's gonna be a long drive. The car's all packed up, kind of uh, a limited trip because of the um, the distance and uh, the stuff we're bringing. Had the gold book, got the camera bag, that or the camera box. That's the most important thing. Let's take a look and see how we're doing on uh, with our time it's uh, currently 55 degrees and nasty kind of rainy out um, and let's see what the GPS says all right finding the best route Ugh. Wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> we're, Pedro. I guess we're. I guess we're not going to be looking for Bigfoot. We're going to be looking for uh, South. Chupacabra. South of the border. <laughs> this is crazy. This is a crazy place. Hola, it's uh, Mike checking in from sunny, beautiful Florida. It is currently 73 degrees and beautiful outside. Um, as you can see, I normally check in from camp. Uh, however, um, 
the um, my buddy Jimmy got to um, our camping location and there's apparently a big sign that says um, no camping so he has been sending me multiple GPS coordinates uh, via text message which is basically non-existent out here uh, so I get him very sporadically like five at once and he is going to all these different locations that he had uh, planned in case of this um, issue uh, and they all say the same thing so I'm gonna plug in the latest one and um, hopefully that works but if not I did stop at the uh, Lake George Ranger Station and I got a uh, map so I hopefully it doesn't turn into a solo camping <laughs> but we'll see I just wanted to give everybody a little bit of an update I know I shouldn't be filming and driving at the same time but I figured this was appropriate uh, I just met up with Jimmy and Nicole and um, we met up at the only two paved roads that run through the park um, Finally, after a little bit of a wild goose chase trying to, uh, they kept going to different locations and I was always, uh, seemed to be a step behind them. But anyways, um, we're now headed back a half hour to the ranger station that I was just at to try to determine why everywhere is closed and if he could offer any suggestions besides just randomly driving around the park and hoping for the best. It is now 11.09. My last update was um, from the ranger station was about, oh, I don't know, 10.15 or so. And I've been awake since uh, 10 o'clock yesterday morning going on uh, 25 hours. So I got Red Bull, so I'm good. Um, Okay, we'll, uh, we'll see what the guy says. 11.40 a.m., leaving Ranger Station. No help, we are not allowed to apparently camp along any uh, bodies of water anymore. However, you are allowed to camp anywhere in the forest. Uh, we are going to try a location called Deer Lake. Stand by for an update. Oh, shit, I was just driving. I was just driving right here. There's a deer. Look at that a deer right next to the road. Hey. Hey. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, but unfortunately, uh, guy at the ranger station said that this would be a good spot to camp. However, um, there's a big sign on the, um, the pull-in that says restricted use, some helping people. So we have resorted to, I said that weird, we've resorted to uh, Google Earthing uh, ponds and stuff that um, we might be able to camp by so um, this is what we got to work with and we're just basically randomly driving down these roads um, hoping to find something soon because we got to get camp set up and I got to pee What did you say, Mike? You're breaking up. Can you say that one more time about what happened to the sites? Anyway, oh, let's just forget all that. Um, do you want to just go to where I did my bushcraft meetup since we know that's good? Where is that? Um, somewhere near where where we're going, anyway. In Ocala? Yeah. I mean, um... Yeah, that's. I mean, that's fine. Is um, yeah. I mean, if is it, it does it have? Is there is there a lake there? Like fishing? Yes. 
Yeah, there's a lake there. Yeah, Nicole caught a bass and checked it out before. I don't, I don't know if it's left or right. Okay, uh, can you send me the coordinates to that then? Yeah, I'll do that right now. Okay, I'm at the uh, Lake George Ranger Station awaiting assignment. Okay. All right, see ya. What is going on right now? So, uh, 12 o'clock update is we ran into a guy um, with a towel on and he was parked in the middle of the road and he pulling over. He said that he was driving for two hours looking for campsite, however, um, let's see what we got here. You know how many snakes are in there? Probably at least two or three. He's got sandals on. I don't know if I'd walk out there to fish, 100%, because I bet you before you could, before there's anywhere even castable, it's all marsh and sink down. It's all flat right there, right? Yeah. Not very, uh... Camp Lake? Well, I mean, it's backcountry Camp Lake. Yeah. Some. You'll definitely see wildlife. Yeah. That's a, that's a plus. So, we're driving through the woods trying to find a spot to camp, and, uh, yeah, that is the, uh, that's a bombing range. Like, legit bombing range. It's called the Pine Castle Bombing Range. Uh, it's active, uh, it's very active. Uh, they drop over uh, 20,000 explosives a year on it. Um, so hopefully we go a little further away from that than, uh, than this. Alright, uh, 2.17 update p.m. Just went down this road to try to, uh, find uh, another camping spot, um, guy came out, apparently it's private property, came out yelling, screaming, um, Continue on County Road actually turned out to be a really nice dude, miles. but, um, now we gotta keep searching. I just wanna sleep. Going on, let's see, it's 2 in the afternoon, I got up at 10 a.m. yesterday, you do the math. After being on the road for a total of 36 hours with about 20 minutes of sleep, we finally found a local to ask advice of where we could camp. Hey, how's it going? Hey, do you know if uh, the, the... I know everything about this place been here since 2000. What are you doing? Where can we camp by water? Straight at the end. At the end? To the right. To the right. Look, when you go to the end, there's a loop loop right there. Right. It says no parking, but you know what? Cool, no parking. Okay. They don't say no fucking camping. You got it. I like Stay that. Stay to the right. You just go around the loop. It's a bowl there. I don't know if you got to pull it down. Yeah. Hell yeah, you got a super. Yeah. Hit <laughs> the bowl like you're supposed to do. Okay. Look, it's, uh, on the right, there's a little side trail there up top. Okay. The water's right there, bro. Hey, can you spare anything for gas or food or beer, man? I'm eight camp. I have my card. Anything else? Let me see. Uh, Test food or beer. Oh, you know what? Here's a bunch. There you go, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You got anything cold to drink in there? What's up? I don't know, man. Sorry. Hey, take care, man. Roll the windows up. Roll the windows up. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What is going on? Seriously, what is going on? <laughs> what was that guy saying? <laughs>
I gotta tell you later, I can't even talk. Oh my god, where are we? <laughs> I can't even. You, I can't even. <laughs> oh god. Mike and local Bigfoot researcher Jimmy Walker and his girlfriend Nicole are in the depths of Ocala National Forest. After being awake for nearly 30 hours, camp is finally set up in the middle of multiple recent Bigfoot reports, which are brought to you by Squatcher Metrics. Camping in Florida presents different challenges than other places in the country. These challenges come in the form of dangerous animals. Specifically to Ocala National Forest, there are multiple animals one must be aware of. First and foremost, and something Ocala is absolutely filled with, venomous snakes. There are five types of venomous snakes in Ocala National Forest, including the cottonmouth, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, the timber rattlesnake, the dusty pygmy rattlesnake, and the extremely and highly venomous coral snake. Pigs, also known as wild boar, are super aggressive and been known to chase humans and injure them with their extremely sharp tusks. As with anywhere in the state, alligators are a constant threat when near water. Though attacks on humans are rare, last year alligators in Florida injured an all-time high record number of people. Shutting down a 14,000 acre tract of land just last month due to attacks, which we are currently camping in, the highest density of population of black bear in Florida reside in the Ocala National Forest. Native to Asia, the Rhesus mascaras, or monkeys, were brought to Silver Spring State Park just outside of Ocala National Forest in the 1930s as a tourist attraction. The only problem when they brought them here is they didn't know they could swim. Today the monkeys are spotted all over central Florida, which I believe leads to a high misidentification rate of Bigfoot sightings. Oh, and a recent study shows that they now carry the herpes B virus, which if contracted by humans, has around a 50% fatality rate. Great. All right, we are getting a little bit of a late start today. <clears throat> and we're trying to find an area for the trail cam. Um, this is what we're working with here. Uh, I want to do one by the river here. I think of that one over there. It looks pretty good. Ew. Uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're going to do one trail cam. <clears throat> we're going to face it upstream. So it's going to be looking that way. I think that's... Actually, you know what? Let's change it up a bit. We're going to be facing downstream. So I think that's going to be where the Bigfoot's going to come from if they're going into our camp. So we're going to do one downstream. The next trail cam we're going to place is an easy one. There's a post right outside of camp <coughs> facing higher ground. So we're going to put one right there. As you can see that's where it's going to be facing. It's uh, directly across from our camp. The third trail camera is going to be placed, uh, there's a little post here, um, to the entrance of camp. That's going to be, uh, no one should recognize it, but that's just going to be to see if anybody comes into camp. And if they do, and they mess with us, then we'll know it. So, beautiful camp is down that way. Good. Uh, the other thing um, that I, I don't think a lot of people realize down here is uh, we have cougar. Mm -hmm. there's, there's Florida panther down here. And um, I did my diligent research and um, found that uh, panthers 
normally uh, are nocturnal and attack mm -hmm. at night. So, and cats attack from behind. And from behind. So, here we go. So Mike had these hats made. So the so, idea is you wear them backwards, so it looks like you're looking. So hopefully the cats don't attack you. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do tonight. So hopefully that uh, will keep us alive. Mm -hmm. It's Mike. Uh, we are in camp here at our first night in o Ocala. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> we had some uh, multiple things thrown at us. I think so. you should mention that the bird was doing the alarm chirps, and then like 10 minutes later is when it happened. So I don't know a lot about birds. That might be an alarm call, like sometimes birds chirp like that as a form of an alarm to alert you of things. And then uh, we had something big thrown at camp. Like, not a stick falling, like you can tell the difference. Definitely something thrown, it was something big. I don't know what it hit. Um, it was giant palm fronds or a tree, I don't know, but it sounded like a baseball. So it sounded like to me. On that note, what's hot dog? After the scene was filmed, our cameras experienced some sort of malfunction in which the rest of the night's film did not save. We did, however, observe a large anomaly on a thermal imager which appeared directly across from our camp. Just before, around 11.27 p.m., our trail camera, Trail Camera 3, captured this footage. After careful analysis, we agree that this is the tail end of a Florida panther heading in the direction of our camp. Due to the timing, there is a high probability that Jimmy captured a Florida panther on the thermal. For those of you that know me, Florida is near and dear to my heart. While this trip was a logistical nightmare and certainly wasn't in short supply of technical issues, we did manage to capture a highly endangered Florida panther on both trail camera and thermal imager. Even if we didn't, I spent a night with one of my best friends, reminiscing memories around a campfire in the middle of a one-of-a-kind place in the world, in a truly remarkably and beautiful place. That's what it's all about.